Hi everybody, my name is Gentry. Um, this is my review of the Washburn Rover. I just picked this guitar up today and I couldn't be more thrilled to have it. I'm really, really excited. Um, obviously it's a travel guitar. It's much smaller than a normal acoustic guitar. And it's not really going to serve as a primary guitar. Um, if you're looking for one, it's likely you already have um, a primary, uh, either acoustic or electric. Um, and if you don't, I would definitely recommend having one as well because it does play differently and you'll have more fun. That being said, this is uh, a great little guitar. Um, I'm really excited to have it to travel with. Um, throw it in the car and not have a big bulky case. Um, it fits in the uh, overhead bins of most planes. Uh, it's obviously a good idea to check the airlines first, but that's a, uh, a huge benefit to having this guitar. If you're like me and you miss your guitar uh, whenever you're out of town or going somewhere else, uh, this might be the one for you. Um, the thing that really drew me to this guitar, it has a full-size neck, um, so you play it just like a normal guitar, which feels really, really good. The body is obviously much smaller, you'll see. It's just a, a couple inches thick here, um, so the sound is going to be a little bit different. Um, but that being said, that reduces a lot of the bulk. Um, the case is, uh, is an excellent case, um, but also not very big, so um, again, um, just really easy to carry around. The, the build on this is excellent. It's a washburn. They make really great guitars, um, and it's just it feels really good in your hand. It's very sturdy. Um, you pretty much have to play it with the strap here. Um, because the head's so big, I'm sorry, because the head's so heavy um, and the body's so small, it really throws off the center of balance on the guitar. Um, so you pretty much have to have it with the, uh, with the strap, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, and you'll hear the sound, uh, if you haven't already heard it, uh, is a little bit different. It almost has more of a banjo quality. Uh, it's definitely more tinny, um, has a higher pitch to it. Um, because it doesn't get to resonate inside the body quite as much. That being said, um, uh, a lot of people really like the sound. It'd be particularly good for like a bluegrass or folk, um, but it's it's still a really nice sound. Uh, the strings make a big difference too. So I have uh, Diodario strings on here, Phosphor Bronze uh, Light, um, and uh, and they have a brighter quality. That being said, you can pick up some uh, silk and steel strings that'll give it a much softer sound. It won't project quite as much. Um, but uh, if you're looking to sort of mellow out the uh, the, uh, the tone a little bit, those would be good strings for you. That being said, I'm going to strum around just a little bit, let you hear what it sounds like. And then uh, if you don't play with the pick, if you just finger pick it. Uh, it definitely has a nice sound as well, and obviously that's going to mellow it out too. Not much of a finger picker, but you get the idea. Um, and just to give you a comparison, um, I'll let you hear it against my, uh, my full size. Um, obviously it's going to have a different sound. Obviously, it projects more. Uh, it obviously projects more. Uh, definitely has a different sound. Uh, that being said, I, uh, I couldn't be more thrilled to have this guitar. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's so easy to take around. It's so lightweight. Um, and the price is great. Right now, it's selling for $159 on Amazon. You can usually pick it, around for, pick it up for around $160. Um, and... Uh, and sometimes even cheaper if you find it on Craigslist or eBay or something like that, uh, pick up maybe a used one. Um, it holds up really well, but you don't have to worry about it quite as much if you're passing it around or if you're you know, at the campfire or just want to take it to the beach. That's exactly why I got it. Um, as I said, uh, great guitar. I highly recommend this. This is the Washburn Rover, uh, and it's the perfect guitar if you're looking for something that you can take down with you. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed my review.